So this is fuel system component identification and I'm just going to tell you how to do this uh, skill. We need to be able to find all of the components so obviously the first thing you're going to do is um, listen to the fuel system component of identification video and then it says fill in the following chart for two vehicles so we'll just scroll down and vehicle one so you'll write the name of the vehicle up in this area and then you'll come down and you can see the different components of a fuel injection system some of this stuff you may not have seen before knock sensor fuel pressure regulator fuel injector um, crank position sensor cam position sensor uh, if you don't know what it is then you need to go um, just research it online and see what you can find and if you're not sure of what you found then come talk to the instructor so um, as far as what we're going to do here not every system has all of these components so you need to look around and see if you can find it on the vehicle to see if it has it if it has it you're going to put a little check mark beside it if it doesn't you can just leave it blank and then under location what we want to do is I want to know where it is in relation to other things in the vehicle and so in order to uh, make sure that we are all on the same page I'm just going to draw a little picture here and you can pretend that this is a, a vehicle and these are the wheels here okay and um, just so we know which is left and right side my engine is let's say right here and uh, we're going to say the transmission goes to the back wheels like this and so um, the vehicle is pointing in this direction the driver sits over here passenger over here whenever we talk about left and right on a vehicle the driver side is always left the passenger side is always right people make the mistake of facing this way and looking under the hood and thinking left and right but it's not it's as if you're sitting in the cab facing forward and that is left over here and right over there and so what I want you to do is look under the hood and you would write something like maybe the throttle position sensor is the left uh, left side engine bay okay and then you would write um, attached to a certain component of the engine so that I know that you know where all of these components are and you're going to do that for all of these like I said if it does not have it and you're not sure about that then you don't need to have it sometimes they don't have a fuel pressure test port sometimes the fuel pressure regulator is not visible because it's in the tank you'll have to find that out and if you can't find it on the vehicle and you're not sure you should go on to pro demand and on pro demand just look for some of the sensors on there and do a little search and see if you can find it and once you're all done you're going to come to me and you can say I could find this I couldn't find this and uh, we'll talk about it and I'll make sure that you know where everything is we'll do this on two vehicles and that is going to help us move towards being an expert remember and that expert means that we know stuff and we know where things are and we are able to adapt to different situations or in this case we can find the components of a varying number of vehicles that look different than each other. Alright, that's all.